Here's why Ukraine's T-84 tank can't stand up to Russia. The T-84 Oplot-M is Ukraine's latest main battle tank. While it hasn't seen combat service in the Ukrainian military, the type contains many advanced features. But the Oplot is hardly a clean slate design. In many ways, it is simply a highly advanced version of the T-80U main battle tank, one of the most lethal tanks the Soviet Union produced. But how did the T-80U become the T-84? To understand where the T-84 comes from, it is important to understand its heritage. Like the T-64 and the T-80UD, the T-84 is a product of the Ukrainian Kharkiv Morozov Machine Design Bureau KHKBM. As such, it draws many design features from the earlier tanks. The roots of the T-84 lie in a 1970s Soviet project to improve the T-64B, the Object 476 KEDR. In this project, the 700 horsepower 5 TDF diesel engine in the T-64 is replaced by the more powerful 6 TD engine, and the turret protection is set up in a manner that would become the setup on the T-80U. As the T-80U didn't use diesel engines, preferring the GTD series of gas turbine engines, the 6 TD went unused on the basic T-80U. However due to some problems in the high cost of the GTD series of engines, 10 times that of the 6TD, a diesel variant of the T-80U was built, called the T-80UD, Object 478B. Introduced in 1985, the T-80UD was one of the best MBTs fielded by the Soviet Army before the dissolution of the Union. This tank was the basis on which the Oplot would be built upon. The lineage from the T-80UD to the T-84 is clearly traceable, as different variants of the T-80UD for export and versions of the T-84 all use the Object 478 designation. At the time of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, various versions of the T-80UD were being trialed with advanced equipment such as the Prana and Shtora Active Protection Systems APS. Shtora was fit to the command tank variants of the T-80U, the T-80UK. The Soviets wanted to fit these to the T-80UD as well, so they commissioned a prototype that implemented Shtora and welded turret modules that improved protection. This prototype was called the Object 484, or T-80UDK. However, this basic T-84 design was not adopted by any nation. So KHKBM continued improving the design. One problem that came with the dissolution of the Union was a lack of new 2A46 125mm tank guns to arm new production T-84s with. Various plants and industries were retooled, and Ukraine began producing its own indigenous KBA 3125mm tank gun, a close copy of the 2A46M1. In addition, the KONTAKT-5 era that was used on the T-80UDs was also produced in Russia. For later versions of the T-84, domestic NOZH era was produced. Unlike KONTAKT-5, which has limited effectiveness against kinetic energy projectiles such as the APFSDS projectiles used by most tanks, NOZH is designed to defeat these as well as heat warheads. The Soviet era, Shtora, APS was replaced by the new, Warda, APS with the same capabilities but new sensors. Other changes included the addition of an APU, changes to the side screens to improve protection there, new radio navigation equipment, and new, shoes, for the tracks to reduce wear on road surfaces. With all these improvements, this, new, T-84 was called T-84U or Object 478DU9. Ten of these machines were acquired by the Ukrainian military in 2000.
Rough comparative evaluation of the Oplot's combat qualities versus its Russian counterparts can be found in the Malaysian tank trials in the 2000s. A basic variant of the T-84, designation object 478DU-7, a variation of the object 478DU-2, performed at around the same level as Russia's export T-90S. If the Ukrainian era systems hold up to their claims, the BM Oplot would be a rough equivalent for any tank Russia can field. The independent commander thermal sight gives better situational awareness than a standard T-72B3, T-90A, or even the T-80BVM, Russia's take on T-80 modernization. Recent tanks such as the T-90M or the proposed T-72B3M might match the BM Oplot in capability, and the new T-14, Armada, almost definitely surpasses it. While the BM Oplot might be better than Russia's line tanks, the tiny numbers in service render its advantages irrelevant. The T-84U's poor performance at Strong Europe 2018 may also cast doubt on the quality of Ukrainian sites versus modern Western tanks.